Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Esmeralda and today I'm going to be talking about the Bronco Off-Rodeo in Moab, Utah. So I'm going to be talking about my experience at the event as somebody who has never been off-roading before, like ever, seriously. And I'm going to be talking about five things that I've learned at this off-roading experience. Like I said, I've never been before, so I actually learned quite a few things, which I think is really cool. And I probably the purpose of this event to kind of get comfortable with the vehicle and learn all of the buttons and be able to know what you're supposed to push and win. So before that, I just want to talk about the build that I ordered. I initially ordered the Outer Banks until I realized that it wasn't going to have the stabilizer bar disconnect, so I went ahead and switched to a Badlands. I'm doing the Sasquatch package as well as the 2.7 liter um, engine. I'm obviously doing hard top, so yes, I have been delayed to 2022 as most of you know. I'm doing the high package because I want the 360 degree cameras. During this offer experience, the front camera was like essential. I know that another couple in one of the Broncos didn't have it and they were struggling because honestly, all you can see is your hood and you have no idea what's in front of you, but that cameraman, is perfect but that's basically my build a badlands oh also i'm doing cactus gray a badlands with the 2.7 and sasquatch package and the hardtop so we pulled up and initially the morning was pretty gloomy but it was like fresh it wasn't too cold it was kind of sprinkling we met up with our crew basically before we headed out actually and we had these two amazing guides Tim and Blake, they kind of explained to us what we were going to do, that we were going to go off-roading on this public trail, and I didn't know how long it was going to last, but the trip up was actually two hours, which I think was pretty insane. And right outside we saw a, a Bronco propped up on some rocks, kind of showing off, you know, the clearance it has, and we were able to hop in. And that's when I was like, whoa, this car is even more amazing in person. Honestly, I know we were able to off-road, but for me, riding it on the pavement and just really feeling what I'm gonna be feeling when I'm driving like to work, to my friend's house, like this, which is basically pavement, not off-road. Like for me, that was, it was amazing, honestly. at one point one of our guides Blake was in the ride with us and we were just kind of asking him some questions and he did let us know that Moab is actually the only location that we go out on a public trail I did see I, I believe in Texas that they basically man-made the trail for the off rodeo but at Utah we're actually going on a public trail that anybody else can be going on so I thought that was pretty cool because we're going on a trail that is possible for me to come back to. I don't need to be in the off-rodeo to bring my Bronco to this specific trail. I'm already familiar, I kind of know what to expect, and I think that's pretty cool. So when we got into the trail a little bit, both of the guides stepped out and they kind of showed us. Like, I want to say the basics. So they had the first guy go in and kind of show us how to do it. He showed us how when you're off-roading, you basically want to have like be clear on what signs mean. So like if you have your hands up like this, like to keep the wheel straight or, you know, left. Don't say left or right, just point because it's easier to see like what side you're going as opposed to saying like my left or your left, things like that. So we were just all watching him and then we all got to take a crack at it. So I was the second to last and I was kind of nervous because like I said, I've never been off-roading before so I didn't know what it felt like. But I will say after the initial climb that we did, it made me more comfortable like okay, I know it feels worse than it is. The car is just kind of like taking the shock but... Even though I feel super tilted, I'm not as tilted as I think I am. Yeah. 
do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I'd like to come on, come on, come on, come on. off rodeo were number one is that sometimes one mile per hour is too fast so basically you want to be like smashing that brake make sure that the car is barely moving number two is that if there's a rock or like some kind of boulder you basically want to go over or around it you want to make sure that your wheels are not scraping the side of the rock if you see one like i said the front cameras oh my gosh they were critical and I can't imagine off-roading in a vehicle that doesn't have a front camera anymore honestly after being in this one it's just it's so handy especially with the rocks that's really really important one of my favorite things that I learned which is number three I guess is how to use the locking differentials um, the buttons being up on top are just like it's just it's just so well thought out like literally I'm driving I lock it and I'm I go uphill I unlock it like it's just so convenient where they're placed and i think it's cool because i was nervous that i was gonna buy the vehicle and never use these cool features but after the off rodeo like i'm just so much more confident in going out and hitting the trails it's not until you put it into action and you try it out for yourself that you're like oh shoot like i know how to do it now also something i learned is where your thumbs are when you're driving so i had my my thumbs inside of the steering wheel but tim let me know that it was best to have my thumbs out because if for whatever reason when I'm doing a turn, if the wheel just kind of kicks back on you, you know, you don't want it to get stuck with the rest of the wheel. So from that point on, I had my, my fingers out. So that's something that I learned too. I forgot what number I was on, but I guess number four or number five that I learned is that in the beginning, my tires were kind of low and I did let them know like, hey, the tires are low in here, just letting you know because they do make you sign a waiver. So basically... In the beginning you do a walk around of the vehicle and you make sure there's no nicks and scratches and if there are already some you kind of just jot them down to show like that was there before me and i didn't do it so that's something that i learned if you're gonna go off-roading and you want to kind of just it just makes sense if you want to grip the rocks a little bit better is kind of just lower the psi on the wheels so those were sasquatch package i believe and they said that usually they were at 45 so i think they had them in like the low 30s 
um, when we first got in the car. So once we got to the top, after about two hours, like I mentioned, honestly, at that point, I was pretty hungry. And Tim and Blake had brought some goodies for us. So they brought some food for us so that we can make some sandwiches and chips and stuff like that. And we just enjoyed our lunch up at the top with an amazing view. Honestly, it was so worth it. It was kind of tedious, like coming going around the rocks and it was kind of scary, <laughs> but it was, it was just so worth it. Like, honestly, I definitely 100% would love to go back and do the same trail now that I know how to do it just to get that view again. I mean, it was spectacular. It was pretty cloudy when we got to the top, but after it, the rain kind of just cleared up and it was just amazing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how steep that is. Once we finished, we kind of went back inside and we just gathered together and we had dinner together at the uh, Red Cliffs Lodge, which is where they were hosting the off rodeo. I think it was pretty cool. They had some kind of like memorabilia and like they had some photos. They had they had like a little like kind of like a little memory lane of Bronco and kind of where it started and how far it's come. They had another Bronco inside, which is pretty neat and they had a lot of cool merch honestly i bought myself a hat and i bought myself a shirt and we got a goodie which i'm not gonna spoil because when i got there i was pleasantly surprised the little venue or cabin that they had the off-rodeo like merch and like the registration in was fairly small it was super cute i took a bunch of pictures there and honestly i had an amazing time if i was excited before about getting my bronco like i'm ecstatic now like seeing its capability and seeing what it can do off-road and like I'm just, I'm just so excited. Like I can't wait to get my Bronco. The wait will be so worth it, honestly. With that being said, I hope you were able to get a good glimpse of the off rodeo in Moab, Utah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't know if I said everything that I wanted to say. We shall see.